Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. It's Lauren here, and today we've got a long-awaited furniture flip for you, and I've got some writ dye here, so let's dye a chair. I got this chair for $20 on Facebook Marketplace, and it actually has another matching chair, so I got the pair for $40. But since this is such a requested video, I decided to take one of them, and since it's cream, it's gonna be easier for me to get the true color. And so I am deciding that $20 isn't a lot to lose. If it doesn't work out, it's not that big of a deal. We're gonna start, though, by how we always start, and that is to rip off this skirt. Got my pliers here. I'm gonna just go ahead and rip off the skirt. All right, well that was easy. There's several staples left in there though, so I'm gonna take those out with my needle nose pliers here. I'm not really going through the process as much with this part of the flip because I really wanna focus on the actual dyeing and you guys have seen me do this part so many times. And if you haven't, there's tons of videos of me flipping chairs, so be sure to check out one of these videos up here in our playlist. Well, I've got four stubborn little staples that are a little bit short, so I can't really grab a grip on them. Name to the rescue. That was pretty quick, so let's move on to some cleaning. This chair is overall in really good shape, great condition, barely even dirty, but you know, it wasn't mine and I definitely want to clean it before I put the dye on it. So I've got my Bissell vacuum here and I already put the water in the cleaner. I just used Bissell cleaner that I found at Target. So I'll link some below that you can get on Amazon. Cleaning the piece of furniture before you dye it is much like cleaning a piece of furniture before you paint it. You wanna get all that dirt and grime out of there and especially the surface level stuff so that that dye can soak in and really stick to the actual fabric. Really quick, I forgot to show you guys. This came with this chair. That's how you know it's old. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear that off. It's a plastic headrest to protect this part from like your know, oils in your head and stuff. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> All right, we're all clean. Let's check out that dirty water. Gross. And that's not even like a bad chair either. Definitely glad I cleaned that. I'm gonna put this in the sun for a little bit while we go mix the dye. That way it can kind of dry out. It doesn't really need to dry all the way because I'm just gonna get it wet again with the dye. But I've got a pot on here full of water. It's actually an older pot just cause I don't really wanna put the dye into my cooking pots. And so I got this at Goodwill, but I'm gonna boil this water. And then once that comes to a boil, we will add some dye and then it'll just boil for a little bit longer and I'll put it into, or we'll bring it over to the chair and we'll put it on. All right, it is boiling water now. And the only thing about this that I'm a little bit questionable on is how much dye to put in here because this dye is meant for 
being done in the washing machine or in the sink or things like that. So it's basically you can take the fabric and you can put it in a spot with dye. Well, that's not what we're doing here because that fabric isn't removable on the chair that I'm doing. So I'm just going to estimate how much dye I'm gonna put into this amount of water. Uh, I'd say there's a, about a quart of water in here. And so I obviously don't want it to be too much dye, but I wanna be able to have it as dark as a green as I can. So we're just gonna kinda go for it and I'm gonna dump some in and we're gonna see how that looks and we might need to dump more, we might need to dump less. I put about this much in there and it looks pretty dark. So I'm gonna let it just mix around while it's boiling for just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to carry this over to the shop. I was gonna put it into this spray bottle right away, but I think it might actually melt because I just got this at the dollar store and it's pretty cheap plastic. That'd be um, awful if I melted this bottle. So I think we'll let it kind of cool as we walk over there. I've got a couple of different methods that I want to try. I want to try using the spray bottle. I want to try using a paintbrush to paint it onto the chair. And then I've also thought about maybe doing a sponge to soak it up and then kind of sponge it onto the chair. So three different methods. I don't know which one I'll like better, but I'm kind of interested in trying all of them. The main, ah! Oh my gosh, we almost had a green mess. Okay, I think we're good there. We almost boiled over. The main thing that I want to make sure is not gonna happen is that it's not gonna be blotchy. That's like my main concern, because if it's blotchy, ugh, that won't look good. But worst comes to worst, this is a fail and I don't sell it, but I just donate it. All right, let's head over to the shop. I think the first method I'm gonna try is to use a paintbrush. So again, Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna dip it in, see what happens. I don't know, I might not even have enough dye in here. Oh gosh, probably not enough dye. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add some more dye. It's all trial and error, so let's add some more. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. I've got another bottle just in case I need it for more dye, but I like this color a lot actually. And also I haven't talked about why I chose green. I chose green because it's a very trendy color right now and I've had awesome luck selling green chairs. So I decided why not give it a shot? I don't know if this cream chair would sell fast. I am gonna try selling that one at some point, the other one. But I wanna see this green one. Is it gonna sell quickly because it's green or no? But that also depends on how well it turns out when I'm done. I think I wanna try the spray bottle now. Try the sponge next. I feel like I waste a lot when I use the sponge because I just have to squeeze it out. So you'll notice I'm kind of going in circles and that's because I'm noticing that the fibers aren't all getting covered if I just kind of stay on the top. I need to get under there and I need to get into the fabric all the way.
think I'm done with the actual chair part. And then of course, I just remembered that we've got to do the cushion. We are done. I'm gonna move this out so that it can dry in the sun. And honestly, I'm gonna be letting this dry for the rest of the day. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what it looks like. I am not sold on it right now. And also like the cushion looks different than the chair. So I don't know. We'll see what the end result is and when it's kind of drying tomorrow. Haven't decided if I'm gonna spray it out with the hose or not to get that color out as much as possible. And also, it's not blotchy, but I don't think that the material is taking it very well. So we're gonna let it dry now. It's time for dinner and we got our Green Chef order delivered today. We love Green Chef because it delivers right to your door and we can also choose how many meals we get, how many we want per week, and it's all fresh and it's measured out already for us. So I'm excited. We're gonna get the Peruvian chicken with Aji Verde going tonight for dinner. So we've got chicken here, plus a bunch of the ingredients that are already measured out for us in this bag. As you can see, Green Chef provides a recipe card here, so it's really easy to follow along with all of the prepackaged food here, and it gives you the exact directions for each and every piece of the meal. Green Chef is a USDA organic certified company, and they have dishes for all types of lifestyles. They've got keto, they've got vegan, vegetarian, and paleo. Neiman and I chose the balanced diet because as you guys know, if we've been talking about, we've really are making 20 well the latter half of 2021 our healthier selves and so we are excited to utilize green chef in that way Green Chef really makes cooking easy. And as you can tell with the prepackaged portions, it can really work with our lifestyle instead of the other way around. If you are interested in getting your Green Chef, go to greenchef.us and use code EATFFT100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. We just want to thank Green Chef for making these amazing meals and making it so easy and convenient for us. Let's eat. After day one, you know, it's not looking horrible. There's different things that I like about it and then different things that I don't like about it. So this cushion really dyed a lot better than the chair, in my opinion. I like this color down here a lot better. It's a lot darker. And I think that that has a lot to do with me using the sponge and kind of just applying so much more dye to it. So my plan is, since this really didn't take very well up here, you can just see a lot of the white fibers from the actual chair color. And then some of it even has some tinges of yellow. And I don't really want that in the final product, so I need it to be darker like the cushion. So what I've decided to do is, because I really wanna to try to make this work for me and for you guys, that I am going to be doing a second layer of dye, a second application, and I'm gonna be doing it with the sponge method. So I'm gonna be laying this chair down on its back and then on its side and things like that because I found when I did the sponge pushing it against there, it all drips down. Well, I don't wanna waste the dye. So I think if I lay it down on its back and then apply the pressure to the sponge and squeeze it out that it'll all go down into the chair instead of dripping down. So I'm going to go fill up another bucket of hot water and the dye and then we're going to get started with the sponge method again. Got my sponge, we've got our bucket of water and dye and so basically all I'm going to do is dip the sponge in and then squeeze it onto the chair and it's going to soak it right up. My goal is to get all of the fibrous white parts out.
This is a lot of work, you guys. <laughs> Neiman said it right yesterday. The point of the chair flips for us, at least, and the point that I try to get across to you is that they're quick flips and dyeing it has shown and proved not to be too quick. That's okay though, because if you are just looking for one for yourself maybe, and you can't find the right color, then this might work for you. But if you're trying to turn a profit on top of the materials, the, the dye and the chair and just the time investment, I just don't think that this is the right way to go. But we're gonna keep on pushing forward and I'm gonna show you guys that it's possible because I'm actually really liking the color of it a lot better with two applications of the dye. I'm still torn. I've seen two ways that you can do it. I've seen to where you can just let it dry and then it'll be like this. Or I've also seen that when it dries, then you can kind of take a, or not all the way dry, but mostly dry, you can take a garden hose and then spray it off. And that's just to get all that extra dye out. But I think that I'm gonna go with not spraying it out. And then once it's mostly dry here in about an hour or two, I'm gonna take the color stay dye fixative. And this is going to help it stay the color that it is and so that it doesn't transfer onto someone's clothing if they were to sit down in it. So that'll be our next step. This is gonna dry. It's looking so much better now that I've got two coats on. We're gonna use the sun while we can. It's supposed to rain in a little while. So I really wanna use that sun and make sure it gets some dry time out here before that rain comes. You can kind of see, honestly, like where it's dry. It's dry up here and then down here it's wet. I am going to spray the color fixative onto the chair and then it's gonna continue to dry before the rain comes because I think it's gonna come pretty soon. I've got the color fixative and then I actually got lucky because this spray bottle cap from my sprayer actually fits right on this. And so it says that you can spray it on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, my color fixative is going to help that color stay in the fabric and not come off and transfer to my clothes or stuff like that. I just want to saturate all of the chair. Not make it drip though. Okay, I'm gonna need the second bottle. This one's out. I'm glad I bought two. I really didn't know how much of everything I was gonna need, but two bottles of dye and two bottles of the fixative. All of this is actually at Amazon as well. I got it from Michaels, but I know Amazon has a ton more color options too. And I think you can also order from RIT dye website. Okay, we're empty and we got it all the way covered, but just barely. So again, glad I got two of these. This is gonna dry overnight here in the shop. I'm gonna put it outside for now, but when that rain comes, I'll definitely come over and move it in or I'll make Neiman do it. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow and I'm really crossing my fingers that it's going to look good. Probably just gonna have to smooth some of the velvet out. But honestly, I think this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. So my goal is to stage it and take photos tomorrow if I'm satisfied with the results. 
We're back this morning and the chair is mostly dry. I wasn't able to leave it out in the sun as long as I thought it needed to just because that rain came. So definitely needs to be out in the sun for a little bit longer today. And then I've also noticed the texture of it has really changed since I put that second application of dye on it. It's very crusty, I guess. <laughs> it's just, kind of hard and I don't want this chair to be that feeling. So I am going to try something. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna take a sanding block and basically just kind of roughen up, but smooth out the roughness of the chair microfibers because I think they're all just kind of sticking together and I want them to kind of separate. I'm gonna try this. I'm just gonna go in a circular motion and hope that it works. Oh wow, yeah, that softened it up a lot. That's good. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna just do this over the whole chair and then we'll come back and put it in the sun and let it continue drying. After three days of applying dye and letting it dry so that it's actually able to be sat in, this chair is finished. It actually turned out really nice. I'm pleased with the results. I'm actually surprised by the results. The only thing that I notice is not my favorite part of it is the way that the velvet took the water. I think if you apply too much water to the velvet, the, le the velvet doesn't lay down flat like it's supposed to, but really it's not crusty. It's very soft to the touch. And this green dye is not coming off on my hands or my clothes because we put that color fixative dye on the top of it to hold that in. Let's talk about pricing of this chair. So I got this chair for $20 off of Facebook Marketplace. It was cream. And then I paid $4 a bottle for each of the dyes that I put on and the color fixative. So I had two dyes and two color fixatives. So that's about $16. Plus the paintbrush that I bought from the dollar store, plus the gloves, the bucket, and the sponge and the spray bottle. So we're in around $40. I think I'm going to try and sell this chair for about 150. Usually I do a little bit more for the swivel rockers, but I'm just not completely confident on the way that it looks. That's just my opinion. Could you probably get more than 150 for it? Yes, but I'm also kind of looking for a quick turnaround since this chair took me four days and usually chair flips only take me one hour which is exactly why I don't see myself dying chairs anymore in the future but I just wanted to do this because it was a highly requested video. I had fun doing it but it was a time consuming process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was new to me, new to you and I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think of the chair? Let me know down in the comments. Have you died a chair? Have you painted a chair? What other types of videos do you want me to try out when flipping furniture? This was something that I never really thought of, but I got this idea from you guys. So we love to hear your feedback and your suggestions. Follow us over on Instagram and I will post the updates of this chair. It took me a little bit longer to flip the chair, so I'm not able to list it until today, which is the day before this video goes live. So probably not gonna sell it within a day, but we'll cross our fingers. Get subscribed down below for more furniture flips just like this, and we'll see you on the flip side.